And we're back. You're listening to so much more, a women's health and well-being program. On the phone all the way from Tasmania, I have the artist behind the tree change dolls, Sonia Singh, and we're continuing our conversation. Have other people taking up the concept affected your work and reputation in any way? Well, that's a really interesting question. I think a lot of the time it really helps promote my work. Um, But uh, one thing that I have sort of had to explain to quite a few people is that um, tree change dolls is my registered trademark name now it's fully registered now um because it was sort of a new concept this restyling of a fashion doll some people started sort of i guess using wanting to use tree change doll as, as a generic term and say calling their dolls tree change dolls and um so i do have some information on my website just outlining my trademark guidelines so um, yeah, I definitely encourage other people to restyle their own dolls, but if they are selling their dolls, then I ask them not to use the name Tree Change Dolls in connection with that at all. Just the way, you know, <laughs> if you make um, your own cola, you can't call it Coca-Cola, you can't say that it's inspired by Coca-Cola. Um, yeah, just because of, that's my trademark. So, um, but other than that, yeah, I, a lot of people um, are just doing this for a hobby and, you know, they write about it on their personal blogs and show their pictures of their dolls and, and talk about how they downloaded my guide. So, in a way, it's sort of spreading my idea, which I think is great and, yeah, and it's, it's all good. How do you think the sexualisation of dolls affects children, women and society? Well, um, I don't really understand why most of the dolls that you can get, it's changing a bit now, are fashion dolls. It all came from Barbie, I think, that started and Barbie was meant to be, the character of Barbie was a teenage model <laughs> and so hence she was into fashion. And But I guess she was... Barbie was so successful that it just started that whole whole thing of dolls being fashion dolls with really adult bodies because the dolls I liked to play with as a child were dolls that looked like children and I had some different kinds of dolls. There was the little strawberry shortcake ones but I had some other little dolls as well that I think they were from a Japanese cartoon or something. I don't know <laughs> because I'd never seen the TV show but we had some little dolls that had children's bodies and... Yeah, they were just like little people. And I guess I would like it if you could get dolls like that that were not fashion dolls. And I think, yeah, I think it's moving. Things are changing in the doll industry now, slowly maybe, but yeah. What would you consider to be your greatest achievement so far? (laughs) Oh, gosh. I don't know. Probably my family, actually. But yeah, this this thing that happened with the dolls is something that I'm really proud of. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'd say my family comes first though. Lovely, lovely. If you could travel back in time for 30 seconds to talk to your teenage self, what would you say? Oh, oh dear. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd probably tell myself to be brave because I was always very, very shy when I was younger. So yeah, I'd tell myself that. Yeah, I don't know if I would have been able to convince myself um, not to be so self-conscious because teenagers are just, I don't know, quite self-conscious. But yeah, yeah, I would encourage myself to be brave and, and to do what I felt like doing. Yeah. Cool. What advice do you have for the women of Australia and for the world? <laughs> oh, God. Um, I, I guess I'm not really that much into <laughs> giving advice <laughs> that's not asked for. But I hope when people hear about my story that, that, that they can take something from that. So, yeah, I, I think the best advice is just to learn about the people around you and um, and be inspired by them. Yeah, so I hope that people can look at what I've done and what I'm doing <laughs> and find something in that that they find inspiring or that they can learn from. Thank you very much. That's fantastic. I think we'll end it there. Thank you very much for talking with us today, Sonia. Oh, that's okay. It's been absolutely delightful. And good luck and, and congratulations with your new little one on the way. And Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Have Thanks a great day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 
That was Sonia Singh, the amazing artist behind the Tree Change Dolls. Now, if you want more information about the Tree Change Dolls, the instructions on how to do it yourself or the knitting patterns or anything like that, please go to www.treechangedolls.com and then all the links will be there for you to have a look at and they are so cool. If you want to contact me, my contact details via Facebook, it's facebook.com slash so much more radio or you can look me up on YouTube. I have a YouTube account. You can watch some of my videos. My username is so much more. That's two words. You can email me on so much more radio at gmail.com or you can even send me a text message on 404 600 Eight five six. I'd like to thank everybody for listening. I really appreciate all the feedback that you do give me. So please, please continue to let me know what you would like. And if you happen to have any lemon using recipes, please let me know. This is for an upcoming program. Again, you can contact me at zero four zero four six zero zero eight five six or so much more radio at gmail.com. Thank you very much for listening. I'll talk to you next time. Produced with the assistance of the Community Broadcasting Foundation Australia.